Hi there, welcome back. Let us do a non-elementary example. We are told that two reagents, which is nitrogen and oxygen, are carried out in a batch reactor. The different initial concentrations for nitrogen and oxygen are given for the four experiments that were carried out. So here is my table with my four experimental data. I am given that this is not elementary, so I do not know my alpha and beta in my regular equation. Before we start anything, we are going to balance our equation. Now that my equation is balanced, I can then therefore write down the rate law for the non-elementary. But if this equation was elementary, how would we write down the rate law? This is how we would have written down the rate law of the elementary equation, assuming that the stoichiometry coefficients are the alpha and betas of the unknowns. The reaction would have been first order for nitrogen and second order for oxygen, and the overreaction would have been third order. To calculate the unknowns, we'll first have to write down the equations for four different experiments. So equation one will be presented in this format here, which will be rate equals to k, which is unknown, and the initial concentration of oxygen and the initial concentration of nitrogen. Writing down every equation for myself. Here are my four experimental equations. Written down for myself, representing each experiment. Next step will be for me to calculate for my unknowns, my alpha and beta. To do that, I am going to initially start by dividing my second equation with the first equation. The reason why I'll be doing that is so that this two here can cancel out and I'll be able to calculate my unknown. Using mathematics, this and this will cancel out, so I'm just left with, resulting in my beta equals to 1. Now let's calculate for our alpha. To calculate for my alpha, I'm going to divide equation 4 by 3. This and this will cancel out, my case will cancel out, and I'll be left with. Using exponent laws, I can raise 4 to the power of 2, equating it to alpha. My denominators are the same, therefore for my alpha is equals to... Two. Now that we know our alpha and our beta, the next step is to calculate constant k. And to do this, I am going to select equation. Let's take the first equation. First, let's see what we have. For equation 1, the initial concentration for nitrogen is 0.5. The initial concentration for oxygen is also 0.5. If you punch this into your calculator, the final rate law can be written as To get the units for k, the constant, or the rate law, all you have to do is refer to the rate order. If you look at the third order equation, you can see the units, and those are the units that we have to use. 